At this time, I'd also like to present a special guest, uh, Charlie Abrams, a name that is familiar to many, and by spirit and example, someone who has profoundly influenced epilepsy therapeutics over the last 10 years. So Charlie, would you like to come up and share a few comments with us? I want to thank you all for being here. My name is Charlie Abrams. I used to have epilepsy. When I arrived at Johns Hopkins just before Thanksgiving in 1993, I was 20 months old. I weighed about 16 pounds and was taking Dilantin, Felbitol, Tegretol, and Transine several times every day. I still had a bandage on the back of my head from when they operated on my brain. I had been having dozens, sometimes as many as 100 seizures a day for a year. Then Dr. Freeman and Diana Pillos and Mrs. Kelly changed what I ate. ate. My seizures were gone in two days. I was off all those drugs in a month. I'm not sure what would have become of me if my family hadn't found the ketogenic diet, but I doubt that today I would be an A student in high school with lots of friends. I doubt I would have been playing piano for the last eight years, and I doubt I could hit an eight iron 160 yards. <laughs> I even think I will soon reach a lifetime goal of being able to kick my older brother's butt. <laughs> I do admit science is my hardest subject. A lot of it I just don't understand. So it was fun to see my teacher's reaction when I told her I was going to Missed a couple of days of school this week because I was addressing an international symposium on dietary therapies. <laughs> for epilepsy and other neurological disorders. But I was one of the few lucky ones. Since the diet was invented, there have been millions of kids just like me who were as sick as I was but whose families either never heard about the diet or were talked out of it. So when I say thank you all for being here, I really mean it. Not just for me, but for all the kids and their families you are helping. You're helping. Especially I want to thank Mrs. Kelly, the dietitian at Johns Hopkins, who told my parents what I was supposed to eat. It was complicated in knowing them as well as I do today I'll bet working with them was a real challenge for Mrs. Kelly. <laughs> but Mrs. Kelly patiently hand calculated every bite that went in my mouth for five years. The truly amazing thing is that Mrs. Kelly had been doing the same thing for hundreds of children for over 40 years before I got there and continued for several years after I left. When you think about it, a big reason we're all here today is because of Mrs. Kelly. And now, we can all say thank you. So I would like to present this award to Mrs. Kelly with gratitude and admiration for a lifetime of helping children with epilepsy. Yeah. 